Question 9. We are going to chapter 5 and 4 now. Resultant force on a raindrop falling with the velocity is given by the equation this. Where k is a constant and g is the acceleration of free fall. What's the velocity of the raindrop when it reaches a constant terminal velocity? Where did this equation come from? In case you don't know, I'll just give you a quick revision for that. When an object is falling, it experiences what are the forces acting on it. It has weight, which is mg. And there's also what we call a drag force, a resistive force. This one is, well, generally kV squared because this drag force is propo uh, kind of proportional or equal to kV squared. Depends on velocity, lah, basically. And they're pointing in different directions. That's why there's a minus sign. Okay, And this thing is increasing. As you get faster and faster, you're falling down faster and faster, that orange color kV will get bigger and bigger. So that's where you get the equation from. Well, this is our net force or resultant force downwards. Anyway, constant terminal velocity, what does that mean? That means you have come to a point where there's no net or resultant force. Why is there no net or resultant force? Because your downwards force equals to the upwards force. So net force is zero, acceleration is zero, therefore V is constant. So net force zero, what does that mean? Okay, so that means I can equate mg equals to kV squared. And you're trying to find V, right? So terminal velocity, V term, equals to mg over k. And don't forget to move the square root as well. So that will be mg over k. Ding! That is chap uh, question 9. The answer is C for this one. Okay, next video.